Welcome back everyone. You might be wanting to go ahead and change your autofill options within your iPhone. Now autofill basically is if you make your way over to a certain website, things like apple.com and you want to turn in your login, your username and password, well you may be able to just use the standard login within your iPhone, but sometimes you may need to change this and sometimes it may not work. So what you can always do, and this is basically what I always recommend doing, is to make your way over to your settings panel of your specific iPhone. And you want to scroll down until you see a little option that says passwords. So right here, as long as you have that autofill option already enabled, you can click on passwords and you will basically have a little two-factor authentication. I'll just tell you, you know, to your face ID or something like that. Then after that point, you're going to come into a panel like this and there's going to be basically all of the websites and all of the passwords that you've pretty much ever used and they're all going to be stored within your iPhone right here. So what you can basically do is you can you know, scroll through all these different passwords and usernames that you have. You can go ahead and click on one if you find one and you'll basically be able to go ahead and edit that specific password if you have that option to. So if you basically want to delete a password, I think you can swipe through and you can delete one. I'm not going to show you all my passwords and everything, but you can swipe through, you can delete one if you need to. You can go ahead and customize the passwords, you can go ahead and change the passwords and all these other things if they're actually changed within here. Now if they haven't updated automatically, you can also try going into password options here and under where it says autofill passwords, you can go ahead and basically disable this and go ahead and re-enable it just like that. And sometimes there can be some times where that can go and click things into place too. Now, another thing you can do is go and make your way over to your general settings, which is right here. Go and click on software update and just see if there's an update available. If there is, just go ahead and update your iPhone. And that may be another thing you can do to go and fix these issues as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.